Now, as I'm sure that you're aware, former champion Richard Rich Swan suffered an ankle injury that is going to keep him out of action after he attacked you last week on Monday Night Raw. Now, because of that, I have some breaking news I'd like to share right now. Tomorrow night on 205 Live, exclusively on the WWE Network, it will be TJ Perkins. It will be the premier athlete, Tony Nese, Cedric Alexander, the Scottish supernova, Noam Dar, and the gentleman, Jack Gallagher, competing in a fatal five-way elimination match. And the winner of that fatal five-way elimination match will get a shot at your WWE Cruiserweight Champion at WWE Fastlane. Cruiserweight Champion? Now, Neville, I have to that ask you, you. That does sound good. The critics want to know, of those five competitors, which one scares you the most? You must be delusional if you think there's anybody in this division that scares me. Now, as far as tomorrow is concerned, it's irrelevant. No matter who is the next number one contender, they are going to be forced to bend the knee and pay respect to the king. Cedric Alexander going to come out? Tomorrow night. On 205 Live, maybe he's going to be the man. Hold, hold on a second. Hold, hold on a second. Now, now Cedric, I'm, I'm sure you're out here to voice your objections to Neville's claim, but hold, hold on. This is supposed to be... Yeah, they are going to come out. So we have more company. And, 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 uh, calm down. Neville, I was just thinking what a good idea it would be if I stole that championship. You know, just like I stole Cedric Alexander's girlfriend, Alicia Fox. Okay, gentlemen, this is supposed to be an exclusive one-on-one -on -one interview. We'll straighten your ties, Saxton. Hurry up. Interruption, boys, it's a little bit bad manners, but I felt compelled to tell you, Neville, if we're going to have a king yeah, of the cruiserweights, I think he should be a gentleman, shouldn't he? Okay, well, well, I do object. This is supposed to be a one-on-one -on -one interview. Oh, and here comes Tony Nese's abs. <laughs> this is supposed to be a one-on-one -on -one interview with the cruiserweight champion, Neville, and myself. They're gonna, all these competitors better be careful the disrespect they're showing the king. They may end up on a ship to Bravos. Oh man, that was so good. Good morning, boss. Good morning. This is supposed to be a one-on-one interview. Let's make it. Hey, Jack. Hey, Jack. Hey, Jack. We just survived that Austin Aries has completely lost control here. I would never speak ill of my broadcast partner, Austin Aries, Byron. How dare you? With all due respect, fellas, unlike you, I actually was the Cruiserweight Champion. In fact, I was the very first Cruiserweight Champion. So unlike you, I actually know what it takes to win that title. And spoiler alert, I'm going to do it again. Like I was acting a little bit smug in that respect. You... Me, this actually isn't an imaginary a bad crown statement. you think you're wearing on your head? We got some unfinished Whatever. business. I meant statement, but I don't think it came out like that. But to be honest, I really just came here to do this. Oh my goodness! Uh, Perkins after Nisa now! 
Everyone's going at it. I had a feeling this was going to happen. This is absolutely <laughs> unnecessary. Who is T.J. Perkins think he is coming in here, is causing a ruckus? Oh, my God. Right there. Turn off this huge brawl. Disrespect the king. Talk about an imaginary crowd. Oh, watch, watch out, king. Oh, here's the gentleman with an uppercut and another one. And he's taking it for the champion. The king of the cruiserweights, Neville, was not prepared to compete tonight. The king of the cruiserweights. Trying to retreat. And Noam Dar not done. And TJ Perkins launching himself. Cruiserweights everywhere. See, a segment like this is a good thing for us to do. My God, what athleticism. 205 Live is not the most exciting hour on television for nothing. Mm -hmm. What to do, what to do if you're Cedric Alexander? Well, everybody take it out. You blame Austin Aries for this. Don't blame Austin Aries. Austin was just trying to conduct an interview. But here comes the king of the cruiserweights. He's a little scared. He's my buddy, John. The foul part is good. Wait, why don't we have time to go to commercial? What's happening? Oh well, whatever. Segment over. I'm leaving it at that. Wednesday, success. And once you've had it, you never want to let it go. Well, I almost hit my computer. But still, why don't we have time to go to commercial? Good segment.